Hello everybody, my name is Chris and welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Now, last episode we did a lot, right? But the big thing is we went and we actually went through with purchasing that shop over at Hogsmeade. Now, it went... The transaction went very smooth, right? We went, we talked to the lady, we... She... 1500 That's all she wanted. 1500 bucks. That's it. Super cheap. Outrageously cheap. Concerningly cheap, right? And the only thing is, she wanted to basically reserve the right to purchase the shop back from us if and when we failed at running a shop, right? Kind of kind of rude as shit. Not great, but we were like, we're not going to fail. What are you talking about, right? So she's like, okay, no, you're right. You're so confident. So she sells the shop. She gives us the keys. We go over there. We meet with Penny. We go inside and... The only thing she requested is to go get her late husband's items from a chest in the back room, right? So we're like, okay, that's fine. We can do that, right? Not a crazy big deal. We go back there. We open that chest, and it's a, it's, it's a ladder that goes down into a basement. And it's like, okay, that's fucking weird. That's weird, okay? But whatever, sure. We go down there. And then it's a basement area. We're like, okay. Maybe it was just the ladder that gets to the actual basement. Because there was a chest in there too. And had a little it had a little tiny elf hat in there. And we're like, that's... That probably didn't belong to her, her husband. What is this? Right? And then we go to leave. Because we're like, that's strange. Boom. Ladder disappears. Everything goes... Every, go, everything goes cattywampus on us. Right? Goes whack. And we are basically thrown into this, like, it, it, like, switches to, like, a horror game for a minute, right? There's mannequins, there's a poltergeist that is basically haunting this entire underground, and it's this massive, sprawling place full of, like, puzzles and death. And it is, it is chaotic, and it's nuts. And we were in there for a minute <laughs> trying to get out, right? And and the, the interesting thing is that the poltergeist actually wanted to make a deal with us. He wanted to make a contract. And it was so bizarre. Because he just wants to screw around, cause chaos, and have a fun time, right? He doesn't really want to hurt us. He's just he's just playing around, right? So we come to the we come to the to the the terms. That he's allowed to mess around twice a month after 9 p.m. And all other times he'll stay out of it and won't do anything. Right, so he's not going to mess with the customer. He's not going to throw our whole thing off, right? Which is like, okay, cool, right? Nice. But we kind of still got to deal with the fact that we were sold this place and there's no way in hell they didn't know this was here. So we go back. We go back. We talk to Penny. Penny's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not allowed. She's like, I'm forbidden from actually saying anything about any of this. And we're like, well, how, the, how are you forbidden? We we own the shop. It's ours. You should be able to tell us this. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. I don't know. Something's going on, right? Because Penny knew about this dungeon, right? She knew. And we go. We talk to the madam again. And on our way to the madam, we go get the cops. <laughs> Right? We got the officer that that um, was there in the Hogsmeade attack way at the beginning of the game. Right? Same officer. We go talk to her. We're like, hey, this lady's crazy. She sold us this place. Tried to get us killed or go crazy. One or the other, both, maybe. Right? And so we go. And we go to her house. Fully prepared for some weird, like, defending or gaslighting. <laughs> um, and, and the officer says, like, hey going on this is weird and and the madam just straight up attacks her like literally hits her hits her with a spell like oh god she's it's like literally she got caught and she's not going down without a fight and so we have this boss fight fighting her and she's surprisingly really strong or she can take a hit right and we're we're, we're going back and forth and it's this whole thing and we finally defeat her the officer wraps her up, takes her to Azkaban, as she should. Yeah, ridiculous, right? There's a whole thing, and basically admits to 
doing this intentionally and we are not the first tenant to actually do it to be to to have purchased the place and have fallen to this however we're the only one so far that's actually made it out has not gone crazy in some way right or died but we don't know how many but the officer did speculate did did she did mention she's like i thought it was weird that you weren't able to keep a tenant there for very long but now it makes sense so we each sent her I to prison. You are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demigai statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. I don't think Mr. <laughs> Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those Demigai's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Another reason to go back to Hogsmeade. Oh, Piers Pemberton, you fool. You have... You have you've played yourself. Showed your hand. God, we're going to get him. We're going to get him, right? But that was the big, that was the big, big thing we did. So we own a shop now. We can sell items at, at a higher price, right? The best price through Penny. Luckily, right? Right? It's It was such a cool little surprise mechanic that exists in this game that I didn't know was going to happen. And that's really awesome, right? But then we went around. We got the rest of the moons. So we know a little more three. And we went and found a ton of the house tokens, right? We are one shy. There's one house token out there in this entire castle. There's one. And we're, we're missing it, right? Because we got, we got all of them but the final one. And I'm thinking... Right? Because it, we've scoured so many places, right? Now I'm thinking, because we had found the Ravenclaw Tower last time, right? This was a new area. We found the last gobstone there. We're going to turn that quest in too, right? But then we don't have this one, the Quad Courtyard. And so I can only imagine maybe there's one here, the final key, right? Or it's going to be somewhere else that we just haven't even been to yet. Right? Could be somewhere. That's just a thought. Just a theory. <laughs> right? But, yeah, so we got all the moons to know Lohamar 3, which means we're going to go up to the, uh, to the trophy room. Go there. And get the unlock the door at the top of the tower above the headmaster's office. Find out whatever's in there. And then we're also going to go to um, back to the room requirement because we have a ton of stuff <laughs> we have a ton of things that we have to identify still and we were kind of I was just we were kind of zooming last episode right? we were on such a such a good streak that I just never went back yet to identify everything right so we will be doing that in this one Right, we've been flying, though. And it's also been giving us an, a nice time to, like, really, you know, kind of go around the castle more. It's impressive. Ah, okay. Quad Courtyard is over there. All right. Not even, not even too far. You know, what? I should just. Can I? Yeah, a little easier. <laughs> but I've just gotten there from over here. Yeah, it would have been a little bit more of a, more of a walk, but it would have worked. Okay, cool. Nice. I've there it is. Said the travel broadens the mind. Confringo. Oh, nice. Accio. Yeah, we got two here. Let's go. Already. Already off to a strong start. So we haven't even... We have not been here yet. So this is all new. Revelio. Nice. Ooh. 
No way. I heard it. I heard it. I heard the thing. Oh my god. It is actually here. Where are you? Son of a bitch. It is. Yes. Oh, key. Alright, where are you going? Lead me to my last token. The final token. Here it is. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. And it is done. It is over. Ah, <laughs> oh, we got all the keys. God damn. Revelio. Finally. It's been a long journey. Running around. Covering every inch of this place. Cool. Alright, so we gotta go turn it in. Gotta go turn it in now. Where are we? Where is this place? Is this... by the house... stuff? No, this is the hall! Cool. Oh, it's all the way back here. That makes sense. Lovely. Sir, okay, we we already did that. Okay, so I think I think there's Lumos. So we can do this too, right? We're here. Oh, over by the pedestal. Is it by the pedestal or is it looking at the pedestal? Hmm. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay, so I was like, oh, since we're here, we might as well do it, right? But now, hello? Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. I think we can. We can stop kind of wandering. Let's turn in. Let's turn in the gobstones, right? Yep, because we can finally turn this back in after so long, <laughs> right? I think. Yeah, outside the classroom, it's probably gonna be the easiest. And then after after we turn this in, then we're gonna shoot up to the room of requirement, right? And then get everything identified, get everything I sorted there. More luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Don't worry, I got them all actually. And it makes sense that one of them would be in the Ravenclaw Tower, seeing as you're Ravenclaw. <laughs> but hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <laughs> may I have my gobstones back? That is so condescending. Uh, common sense and basic magic. No, I'm gonna keep them. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking <laughs> of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Of course. Very well. Off I go. Wish me luck. All right, hopefully don't do this again. Ooh, a wand handle. That one actually looks kind of cool. I mean, to be fair, a lot of them look pretty cool, so. <laughs> this is the one that we got last time. It's pretty nice. Orbicular Violet. Ooh. Right, because we got the gold one. We got this brown one. The violet's actually pretty nice. 
I'm just rapidly switching these around. Okay, but now that we've done that, now that we've done that, let's let's focus priorities. Room of requirement. Identify all these items because we have maxed out on space for a while and not going to be able to have more space till we figure this out. Bam. Cool. And a lot of this stuff we're probably going to end up selling and hopefully make a good amount of money. Proud of all the potions you brewed. Get these. Boom. Bam. That fertilizer. Oh yeah. All right. Nice. Uh, you know what? We're gonna add a fertilizer to you. Put down roots. I'm assuming probably a lot of good from um, making stuff, getting the herbology in. Oh, we we have filled up on potions. Sweet. Nice. So we could probably make a couple invisibility potions, right? And that... Honestly, the next time we do stealth, I honestly should... I mean, maybe. Maybe using one would be kind of cool. Uh, I think... Some focus potions. Right? Just kind of get these, get these brewing. Cool. Okay. Now, I know we got some new tables, right? Let's see, this is for three small, right? Is there room I can put this over here? Nice. Cool. Perfect. Oh no, wait. Oh, I have a potting table as a whole. Budget. Okay. I thought it I thought there was just like a budget per size. Damn. That's as unfortunate. Okay. I just gotta be smarter about what I what I place then. Yeah, well I can put the chopping station over here at least. Right? That'll be something. I'll do it this way. Boom. Then, cool. Set up all three of those. Nice. I can make another composter. Great. Hell yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. And then... Ooh, actually... All right, so we got... this material refiner... that produces moonstone. So... should... make some of these. Right, we can actually back out. Let's kind of make some of the stuff disappear, actually. Get you out of here. Get you gone. I'm going to conjure this here. I guess that kind of sticks out a little bit. Okay. Well, I'll set it up against this wall. It's fine. Right? Make sure it all aesthetically has to match. That's what we do here. Okay. Uh, you disappear. Then, I'm gonna put that one 
here just because if they if they can just like passively generate you know moonstone it's nice <laughs> right I'm still gonna be able to collect it out there in the world but Let's see material refiner and then we already have a loom and a desk okay I think that's everything that does something yeah okay let's look what we had going on here right like a little bit of this um okay these guys are doing their thing oh I can return to the wild right from here Well, is there any is there anything else I can add? Let's see, producing offspring. Ooh. Enchanted fountain. That sounds nice. Awesome. Round surfaces. Oh, you get real, you get real creative with this. Okay. I think is there any? I don't think there's anything else we can make here. So I think we're done as far as this, and I do. Probably gonna take a minute to see wall hangings to so, like pet them and do all do all the things right. I think is there anything else I put in here? Checking on. Oh, we kind of got all that. Okay, cool, great, excellent. All right, now let's look at this gear situation, right? Because we have we have a lot. We have a lot that we just identified. Hand wise, ninety. That is a big jump, huge jump. Gloves. Glasses. Legendary. 17. Amazing. <laughs> Our hat. 17. Right, that is easily big, big jump. Oh, man, we are building a style right now. <laughs> and what have we got? You. It's a, no it's a nine increase. All right, cloaks and robes. Got a bunch of these. All right, this one was this one was a huge jump. That's even more so. Yeah, even more. Draconic long coat. And our outfit. So we got this one from the store, which is pretty good, right? These, that one. Okay, so these aren't, these aren't really that, none of these are actually an improvement. And this one's actually definitely not as good. Okay, so this is the best gear that we have. These are the best, the best equipment we have currently. Everything else we can sell, so that's nice. Okay, uh, increased damage with Defendo. Great. I love it. Right? V traits. Do we have 
an even more uh, Defendo increase? No. Yeah, I gotta get some of this. Cave shouldn't be terribly far from here. Deke has marked the area on your map. Let's see. I might come back. Set these things up. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna definitely spend some time getting all, like, the materials from these guys. Because that's definitely holding us back upgrade-wise, and I've not been doing a good job at keeping up on that. So, I'll do that between episodes, so it's not just, like, a lot of petting, feeding, like, you know, the rotation. The rotation, right? But let's make ourselves look less, uh, this. <laughs> Real quick. Here we go. No hat. Right? It's neat, it just looks like it's just like kind of glued to our face. Uh, I think maybe because I know these were the ones we had earlier. We'll do these ones. These ones are fine. Alright. Neckwear. I don't know. It depends on the, the cloak and the robe. Right? Ah, oh, this was the How Hogwarts regalia robe that we got. That is puffy shoulders and everything. Nice. And our shopkeeper outfit. Because we own a shop now. There. Which one was it? Yeah. I'm going to... Put this on for a little bit, right? Because I think well, we might be able to we might be able to get a different cloak. So maybe we might not even be using this for the too long. Like almost, right? This one is nice, though. Uh, it's very purple. Very violet. Okay, I'm gonna use this one for now. I think it's not too bad. It probably definitely looks better with that one. To be honest. Right. But... Yeah, cool. I know, it's like back to what we had. But if we find, if we get that other cloak, because we have money now, we're going to do that. So what, what else is on the docket? Let's go unlock our house chest. Right? This has been a long time coming. It's all been building up. Yep. Managed to find all 16 house tokens. Must remember to deposit them into my house chest, see what's inside. Oh, yes. It's been... It's been a minute. Well, we got them all. Actually. Surprisingly. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. The last one. After so long. After 16 keys. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. What does those numbers mean? 
Must update it. Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. We got a robe from that? Hold on. <laughs> we got... Was it a robe or an outfit? <laughs> Hufflepuff relic house uniform. A house robe for the just and loyal Hufflepuff, earned by using the Daedalian keys to unlock your house chest. God damn. Ooh. Oh, it's even shiny. It, like, moves. That's so cool. That's so... N that's so nice looking. That is a fancy robe. Damn. You're right. This was worth it. This was worth it. It was a good thing we did this. <laughs> God, it looks so good. It looks so good. See now I gotta now I gotta design everything else around it. Cause it looks amazing. It looks so good. It looks so good. What do we even put under it? That's actually not that bad. That's actually kinda cool. The dark colors, right? That's too much. It's a little too light. That's purple. <laughs> um. This is kind of fancy. Kind of, you know, that kind of matches, right? Because we got some fancy Hufflepuff stuff, right? I think this is the fanciest one we have. Right? An extraordinary ensemble, well suited for students with a refined sense of style. And that seems to be us. I like it. I like it. We'll 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 rep We we did all this, we're gonna rep Hubble Puff. Right? A little too clean. A little too clean. That's not even our house. How dare we? Ooh, actually, actually, actually pretty good. Damn. I know we could wear, right? But I feel like it shows off the, cl I feel like it shows it off way more by not having one. Because that's really nice. That's really nice. Oh my god. What does it look like? Oh my god. Look at us. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so good. Oh, we're so fancy. Holy shit. Music. Not the music I thought it was going to be. But I didn't know what I expected. That's so cool. I love how the shine moves on it. That's so neat. I love it. I love it. It's great. All right. We're prepared now. Now we are prepared. We are prepared. For what? I don't know. But whatever it is, we're prepared for it. Let's go to our shop. Oh, we can meet Piers Pemberton anyway. So let's go to our shop because we're going to sell all the other stuff that we have that we don't need anymore. We can make a bunch of money. And then press on. It's so cool. Stitches and drops. And the way it moves in the wind. Fantastic. It is wonderful to see you back here. It's wonderful to be back. Have we been making profit? I oh, hope so. Perhaps 
Yesterday you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? I have so much to sell, Penny. You don't even understand. My inventory's been full for a long time. Oh, I'm so happy you don't actually have to keep the stuff to copy the appearance over. I don't, I, there's, there'd be no way, right? Money. Money. So much money. Ooh. Hold on. It's a very casual shirt. So maybe we don't... Well, we can wear it, right? For the benefits. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Thank you. Okay. Right. It is a one difference, really? I don't think that one's worth it. I mean, it's one. It's literally one. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, and they both applied level three traits. So really, there's no reason for me to keep that one. Like, the one isn't enough to be like, ah, uh, yes. Oh, Let me switch it out. Today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? It's fine. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Penny, you're the best. God damn it. Alright, what's Pumbo want? Hey, fucking around, man. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? He really didn't know he did this. I find them intriguing. They're terrorizing Gladwin Moon. Maybe we don't reveal our hand yet. They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. Got him. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am. At the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah. Well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, huh, hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully, gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Jesus. He's too big for his boots. It's an important job. Yeah, you're... You're very hurt by, by this whole thing with him. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. Jesus. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. Uh-huh. My apologies. You're no better than him. True, actually. Aren't you at this point bullying him? The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. <laughs> God damn. So do we go are we gonna go back to him and let him know it's gonna be okay? It's gonna be okay. Hello, Hamora. Oh. Our first level three lock.
Anything cool in here? A potioner shelf for the room. Neat. Anything else cool in here? Oh my god. Just got this laying around. Well, I'm certainly not going to leave it here. <laughs> New set of hands. Let's go. Is that... Interesting. Fascinating. Okay. Let's go. Because I know, I know we could probably... I don't want to dally. Not that we're dallying, right? But I did say we were going to go up to... Um, to the tower right above Headmaster's office right I did say that we gotta unlock that now because we got level 3 Alohomora <laughs> and we're gonna do it cool <laughs> so we can go up there and I uh, isn't it such a specific location? Right? I don't imagine it's anything like wildly revolutionary, but it is something curious. Because of how we get there. Or how you would normally get there. Right? Don't mind if we Hello, do. do this one first. Almost. Oh, there we go. Level three secrets now. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> it's a pretty cool room. Got some apples in here. A nightcap. Love it. A brass knight arm. Some striped gloves. Another door. Into a chest. Ooh, unidentified back. Sweet. And another head item. Man, another trip. Another trip to the room when we get a chance. Right. Oh, wait. Revelio. Ooh, daring sister, darling, <laughs> darling sister, <laughs> delighted to receive your recent owl. Sounds as if you are, as usual, rising to the challenges presented not only by this, by not only the students, but also a certain headmaster. Your patience knows no bounds. Speaking of patience, thank you for all you've done for Gareth. Your instincts are sharp indeed. A delicate balance of discipline and creative encouragement is all he needs. I confess, I'm glad that his fellow students have replaced his own family. When it comes to trying out his latest brews, marvelous how he spins it. You're the first lucky ones. <laughs> Never mention the possibility of untoward reactions. Well, I must be off. Apologies for the short note. Seems the youngest has got herself into a bit of a predicament. Tossed a garden gnome into the neighbor's dirigible plums. Again. <laughs> anyway, hope to see you at the holidays. Sending my love, G. 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 Off the top of my head, I don't know who G is, but I know if I just sit on it long enough, I'm gonna figure it out. G. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Secrets. Okay, this, oh, it's up there. Got it. There's one down there too. Okay, but we're we're on a mission. We gotta stay focused. Okay, we gotta stay focused, and they throw a million things in my way to distract me. <laughs> okay. Finally doing it. We are doing it. 
Go out this way. Up, up, up. Alohomora. What are your secrets? Strange door. Connected to the headmaster's office. More stairs. Ooh, room with a view. That's, that's cool. That's really, okay. I mean, I guess if I was him, I would, I'd probably, if I was the headmaster, this is a nice place to just kind of sit and look, right? Wow. This is cool. This is nice. This is a nice little room. What's this? Key of admittance. Key of admittance. Revelio. Wait, does the key go to that door? Oh shit. Wait. Okay, hold on, we got a letter. <laughs> Professor Black, regarding your letter dated 20th of September, I shall not reconsider the admissions process at Hogwarts. Regards, Fair Spaven. Spaven. Minister of Magic London. So Professor Black sent a letter to the Minister of Magic about the admissions process at Hogwarts. Uh, this is more of like a, a purity thing. Is that what he was fucking doing? Okay, so that's in here. So Black does come in here. It's nice. It's nice. I like it. Revelio. And it overlooks his little his little office too. Damn. Well, well, well. <laughs> we just start unlocking Hello, everything now. And then I'm going to go see if that key works on that door, because that's the only door that doesn't say it's locked, that doesn't actually indicate a, a Lahomora, right? Makes me think. Right, and it's in his private office, right? His private, private office. This is his room. God, the headmaster does have a nice space. I mean, I guess as they should, right? Like, you know, you're running the school. But. Nice, more, more stuff. A little letter. Oh boy. Dear Phineas, the children have been asking about your return. Belvina in particular chooses to do so each day at breakfast and is engulfed in a sulk when I remind her that you are ensuring the quality of her future education. Sirius and Phineas rarely send me an owl. Sirius. Although when they do, they never mention you. I'm certain they're proud of you and all that you're doing for Hogwarts. Having one's father as headmaster is a tremendous honor. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Wait. Are you serious? But... Serious? Like, serious Black? Professor Black is the father of Sirius? Like, we knew they were, like, obviously family ancestor, right? I don't think he's the father. He can't be, the, I don't think he's the, well, that that's not, that might not be the Sirius that we know, right? Because, this is the 1800, this is, like, still... This is like a hundred years before before the events of Harry Potter, right? So that can't be the same series. Or if it is. I don't know. I don't think it is. But anyway, that's curious, right? Merlin, help me. Cygnus is now crawling and follows Arcturus about like an unwelcome shadow. Arcturus is begging for an invisibility potion, and frankly, I can't blame him. I'd be tempted to brew one if it weren't for the external sniveling that Cygnus would regale me with. 
Perhaps we shall see you during the next school holiday, but please don't feel any obligation. We can manage. Ursula. This is a wild group of family names. Phineas, Belvina, Sirius, Cygnus, Arcturus, and Ursula. But see, it says Dear Phineas. But then also states, Phineas rarely sends me an owl. Right, so I guess one of the... There are many children, they have a lot of children, right? So Phineas is obviously his child, also with his name. Interesting. It's got a big family, and the family is honestly like... Well, they, they seem to... Well, she kind of misses and the kids don't really talk about him too much and then it's just like oh maybe we'll see you on the holiday but like don't feel obligated like yeah like if you can cool if you can't it is what it is right like you're you're out there doing the job but i mean i don't know i don't know he doesn't seem he doesn't seem like a very warm person so i i can't imagine he's very warm with his family but maybe oh shit we need to spin it to each one that's cool that's a wild lock <laughs> and it actually opened oh it's another Hogwarts secret Wait, so there was an there was another one. Or wait. This was the last one. Yeah, because we did this one last time, which was the clock tower. Well, I guess they could be in any order, right? But we did the clock tower, right? With the pendulum. This is it. Fashionable dress robes. <gasps> Those look like Those look like they look like Great Aunt Tessie's robes. Oh god, they are. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's so bad. That's amazing. I love that. Fashionable dress robes. A set of robes flushed with contemporary style. Earned by discovering Hogwarts secret. Wow. It's so bad. It's so hideous. It's so bad. I love that. I love that they put that in here. That's great. Big secret chest. Unidentified hands. Is it locking itself? Oh, great. Am I going to be stuck in here? Whoa. That seems... That seems important. Rebellion. What is this? This is cool. Just a... Is it writing or is it just... It's waiting to write. It's just up here. Oh, it is writing. What the fuck? Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance. The Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance were placed here by the Founders and have not been touched since. Ooh. They record the name of every prospective Hogwarts student the moment they first show signs of magic. Although the Quill is more lenient than the book, which will sometimes snap shut before the name is written if the evidence of magic is not dramatic enough. That's crazy. Holy shit, so this is the book. This is like the book. Records the name of every prospective Hogwarts student. So this records names. What, like as they're born? Or when like when they show magic? Like out in the world, somewhere, some some like random some random place like Scotland. 
right? And it's just uh, born, right? But then he starts showing signs of magic at like 14. Then the book like writes that. Well, I guess it would be the Scottish, Scotland, if, if they have their own school out there, right? But if it's a Hogwarts area, like Britain, right? Then this would be, this would be what it does. But if the magic isn't dramatic enough, right, if the evidence, then the, the book actually stops the quill from writing their name. That's crazy. What the fuck? Every name, every pers prospective student at Hogwarts that's so cool. Oh, dwellings. Uh, for the room. This is cool. Oh, and the... Look at that. The little badger. Snake. Um, I'm going to assume it looks like a really big... It looks like a hawk, but I'm assuming raven. Raven claw. Just really big. Right? And then the lion. That's cool. Rebellion. Can I light these? Confringo. I cannot. I cannot. So this book has been placed here and it was enchanted by the founders of Hogwarts and they've never... No one. We want him. Um, nobody has messed with it since. Nobody has touched it. I mean, obviously for the best, right? Like, don't. Something like that. Some magic that works like that. And it's like such a staple of the school, right? That's just, it's neat. And it's, it's right up here. So we just got this one, Regal Black. An enchanting Regal Handle in Shades of Black and Alabaster. Ooh. Dale. Why is that, sh <laughs> that looks really good. That looks amazing. That was great. All right, we got some unidentified items, which we're going to deal with. But that is, that is a super, that is a super cool little thing. That's a super cool secret. Just hidden up here. That's awesome. God, we, we've been, we've been, we've been finding stuff left and right lately. This is great. Feels good. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sweet. Right, do we have to go for the moons? I guess we should go talk to him again, right? Let him know we found the culprit. And he, he will not be sent to Azkaban. He will not be. Hopefully. Well, did I... Did I go too far again? Okay, no. Seems relatively, relatively close by. Honestly, this this robe is so nice. It's so cool, right? And we, I've, I do really love the other outfit that I was kind of rocking, right? Very much the, um, more than like the adventurer outfit, right? It's really cool. Big fan. <laughs> but it is, it is also really cool having like the wizard robes and like repping. Rep in the house, you know? Oh, man. We got some in there. Oh, we got a stack. Great. Ooh, Ravenclaw. Embarrassing. Oh, Slytherin. God, guys are... It's not working out this year. Yeah, I'll get him next time. It's hard to compete, you know? I get it. This looks like the right statue. Um, what was the password? Oh, this thing. <gasps> this is the thing. Descendium. Oh, it's due. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't think. I thought I was just going to say it and it was going to turn. I didn't think it was. Like... Who knew this was all down there? Oh, God. We'll come back. After we speak with Gladwin. 
This is our little secret passageway. Right? Neat. Hey, man, you'll be happy. Ish. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. Someone you bullied in school. It was your friend from school. Oh, boy. I guess we could say it like this. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, I see. I see why he was upset about that. Yes, him. Listen. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Damn. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. He has... He really just brushed that off. He didn't give a shit. Wow. It's kinda fucked up, dude. Damn. It's like, you bullied him. Ah, he loved it. What are you talking about? He enjoyed it. It's like... It's kind of a dick. Yeah, I should have left those in place. Maybe I shouldn't have gone any of the moons. Is that a box? Okay. Creepy passage. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. This is... Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Let's, do, let's make some magic. Damn. That seems to have done the trick. It's almost like nothing should ever really be broken. Right? Rebellion. There's no excuse for it to stay broken, right? Hello. Thirty eight dollars, let's go. Alright. Oddly strange passageway. For this. Oh, another one. Where is this gonna like we know we know where we're trying to get to, but it's just interesting that it's going through a way like this. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Like genuinely. It's a whole like <laughs> it's a whole like mining route. The support beams and everything. Can bring up. This is cool. The fuck was that? Revelio. Just a sound. Can bring up. It's in here. Or is this just another way around? Oh, it is. It's a little shortcut. <laughs> True. How am I supposed to get out of here? Levioso. Magic. I'm going to have to get past this. Oh, this is... This has turned into a little... A little bit of a thing. Cool. Uh, I'm so happy to be... Even though it's like little things, to be using Reparo more is really nice. I... I it's such a cool effect, right? And they made it look so cool in the game. 
It's a shame it's not used more. Right? I mean, they, we repaired, like, that whole bridge at the beginning of the game. It was super cool. Sweet. Something is getting in the way of that platform. One more to go and I'll make it across. Right, what is... Ah. Oh, that Levioso. works. Aha, got it. Excellent. Revelio. Is there other... Just a little stuff. Oh. This, I need to find a way to open that gate. All of this just to be able to get into the shop. Confringo. Boom. Just like... Ah. Speed. <laughs> Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. I bet it smells amazing. And just like that. What a weird... What a weird access cellar situation here. <laughs> Honeydukes. I can smell the chocolate. Ooh. Now. Amazing. Where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Right? Just be really careful, really quiet. Just a quick snatch. Snatch and grab. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Can I just walk out here? <gasps> this is the door. Because we looked at it. We looked at it last time when I was running around. When I was running around here, and that door had a lock on it, but I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, La Homora the lock. That's so. That's that's cool. That's why. I mean, it is locked, so we had to go this way. That's neat. Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to return. Where, which one? This one. Cool. I, th I, uh, I can't remember. He was, I think he was in that like main, it's outside a classroom. I'm trying to remember where, if, well, we might not even meet him back where we actually found him. Right. Initially. Ooh. Revelio. House goes can procure rent. Pungent passage. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of Mimbulus Mimbletonia in the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of Stinksap, Stinksap left it with a rancid odor that even the strongest scouring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Okay, so it's not like coming out of like the. I thought it was like coming out of like these spots. This it's just like in Rebellion. the ground. That is unpleasant. Lumos. Oh, over by the centaur painting. Right, and I gotta find. I gotta. Ooh, there you are. Um, I gotta go back to that. That little uh. That K. Because no I, I, that was a tricky, tricky little secret, a little illusion, a little uh, painting on the wall, right? We'll get back to that. I'll turn this in first. Oh. There we go. Well. Saves a little bit of time. Right. 
Do we... Yeah, I guess we just go in the front door, right? Rebellion. <laughs> Ooh. Another secret. Here we go. <laughs> Sweet. All right. All right, let's go turn this in. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them. Incredible. Yep. <laughs> Here they are. For a fee. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Oh, boy. That sounds unpleasant. <laughs> nice. A little Quidditch board for the room. Heck yeah, level 30. Let's go. So strong. Rebellion. Secrets? No? Okay. Alright, now... Now... We... Need to go. Because I've been putting it off... For too long. Not terribly long, but... Enough. We're gonna go speak to Natty. Because her mom... Might possibly have figured out what the hell we're doing. Right? And more importantly, that she's involved... That Natty's involved, and she's probably very, probably concerned. She is concerned whether that, you know, shows itself as uh, a lecture, aggression, or just concern. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. Oh God. I confronted Piers about it, and he confessed straight away. The old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the three broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, at least he has peace, right? Which, at the end of the day, they both, you know, buried the hatchet, as they say. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped... To speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. Oh God. <laughs> she berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. Oh my, my God. Mother. My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> oh. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Shit. So frustrating. Oh. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animagus. Oh, and it is shit. in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's incredible. Holy shit, she's an animagus. Damn. That's why it's like, oh, the unusual creature she spotted. And the reason her mother knows was her is because it's like, it's probably a very specific look. And also, I mean, if 
if that's the look, it's definitely not a, a probably a native creature to hear, so it'd stand out. <laughs> Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. God damn. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. That's probably for the best, honestly, at the sheer... I imagine if every student paid attention and did that. Anime is left and right, they'd be everywhere. It'd be madness. <laughs> Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother oh. is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. That's interesting. So... So you don't even pick your own Animagus. That's kind of... That's fascinating. So that means... Siri, like Sirius Black, right? His his Animagus form was a dog. And, um... Hers is a gazelle. Fascinating. <laughs> How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say... I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. That's got to be one of the weirdest feelings in the world. To be, to just like transform into an animal, right? Not like transformation, but like the Animagus like form. Like you're choosing it, like you have control and you have, it's like just another, like a, f I mean, it's literally another form, right? But it's just, it's so... It's so neat. That's got to be so weird. Especially because, you know, you're seeing it from this perspective of, like, whatever your form takes. So you can't really even plan for it. You're just suddenly, like, whatever it is, right? You could be, like, a bird, a spider, you could be a little rat. <laughs> if that's your personality, right? Cool. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. That is a really good... She uh, claims that yeah. she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Okay, hold on, though. Wait, 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 wait. She's got a point with the poachers. Okay? she got a point with the poachers. These guys are willing to trapple... Tra trap? Trapple? Trap. Puff skein. They're, they're just willing to, Like, they see a gazelle? They see, like, a rare animal that's not from here? They're gonna... They're gonna snatch that up in a heartbeat. They... Alive. Or dead. Like, who knows? Like... It's just, it's not worth it. Actually, that's a really good point. <laughs> that's a really good point. And the fact that, you could say on one hand too, right? It's like, oh, she saw, she saw that something is going to happen to her. And it's like, that doubles my level of worry. I can understand like, oh, she's using her sight to control her. Sure. Right? But this, in this specific circumstance, especially with how rampant the poachers are, yeah, perhaps she's right. She's concerned for your safety. <laughs> it may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. Oh no. My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. It's okay. Get out of here. 
Um, yeah, I'm I'm glad to have been here, and now now I feel weird because it's like, oh, I'm just doing what you do. I'm like, ah, oh, God. Oh no. Uh, it's partially our blame, partially partially our fault. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> well, shit. Okay, so uh, uh, meeting Sebastian and Anne out there, or Poppy. I feel like we should go meet Poppy, right? Because we we do want to return this dragon egg, right? I feel like it's a very important thing to do. Return this egg, and then and then we'll probably we'll probably do this. See how that conversation with Anne is gonna go. So I feel like it's gonna be weird. It's not gonna be great. <laughs> and then. And then see where we go from there, right? So we go here. It is just out this way, though. So not too far. Actually, super close. The tales of Beetle the Bard still ring true today. And. Well, I wonder, Kit, are they. I beg your pardon, but Where is... Uh, I'm busy, hold on. Maybe. I'm trying to think. Uh, you know what, I will check, I'll check later. I was gonna say, can we go into the three broomsticks and see, see them hanging out, maybe? <laughs> but, in time. We'll check later. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. Oh. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. That's unfortunate. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. Oh. Nice. Actually, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week, she was studying leg knots in plimpies. Leg knots in plimpies. Oh, plimpies is the creature and the knots they get in their legs. Damn. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. That's great. <laughs> Shit, how'd you do that? How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. You did a hell lot of research. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Well, from what we saw, she didn't she didn't get collar yet. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Yeah, we just roll in, we roll that thing across the ground, or we leave. Sounds simple enough. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Yep, why not keep the egg? What? Where precisely are we taking the egg? True, right? I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No, it belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Correct. It's the right thing to do. Return it. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. That uh, uh, probably. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Yep, on foot oh, and one quiet. Thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. 
Oh no, she's already been through hell. Like, there's no reason for us to like. There she is, above us. Oh shit. She did make it home safely. Oh, That's so cool. <laughs> as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. This is good. This is great. Cool. In and out. In in and in and out. I, I really wish we got here before she returned, so we could just set it down and run. But, you know, this is this is a That's it. The poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. <laughs> oh, I imagine. Okay, we can't go that way. Ooh, there's a little bag though. Okay. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh, shit. Until we've done what we came to do. Oh god. It only lasts four seconds though. Okay, so let's <laughs> Yeah, let's do. Can freak them. Nice. <laughs> Two very powerful swift strikes. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten, usually. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna snatch these. Get this guy. Snatch this guy. Open this. Okay. Okay, super cool. It's, I mean, like, here's the thing, right? Like, she's not looking for us, but she's also very upset. So I can't, I couldn't blame her either. There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a so cool, though. I feel like we are in an age where there are not enough dragons in games. There needs to be more dragons. We are in a dragon deficit. Right? I feel like. But I love seeing them. I'll take them anywhere. I'm imagining at least one is going to be in Dragon Age. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like princess. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. <laughs> we look like sheep. Okay. Yeah, that kind of dragon loves sheep. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Just in and out. In and out. Quick. 20 minute adventure. What just thinking, but she'd still be able to smell you. Oh, so there's no point then. Okay. Damn it. I thought I was smart. Get out of here, birds. She must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Oh shit. Swearing for a fight. Damn. I mean, yeah, we could be like, okay, yeah, like maybe a fight, but at the same time, she probably do be hungry. Let's be real. She got two of them, but she's not eating them, and I think that's that's kind of the clue, right? That she just wants to what was that? fuck around. Oh shit! Nope. Maybe hide, crouch a little bit. Ooh. Never mind. Don't, don't. Well, there's no coming back now. Get past the dragon and closer to her nest. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Over here. Huh. Oh, God. Whenever you're ready, I'll follow your lead. Holy shit. I'll her attention. Follow when it's safe. Oh my god. 
God, that ability really helps. <laughs> the little dash. Okay. Zoom. Flawless. Oh god, run. Maybe. It's over here. Revelio. Nothing. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta zoom. Where'd you go? Am I a fool? Am I dumb? It's right here. Watch out. Oh shit. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. Oh, she's making it easy. Oh god. Wait, what's she gonna do it again? Oh god. Shit. Let's go. Oh, it's very warm, if you ask me. <laughs> Damn it. That's funny. Hold on. A little too warm. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I can normally try, but it's a long time. that really that really cuts down the distance fast. Oh god. Oh. There we go. She's leaving quickly. Oh no. Brilliant. Great. Okay. There's the nest. We're almost there. Okay, not bad. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Why is every bridge here broken? True. I mean, she probably, she probably ran through all this. God, love it. More opportunities now, for Repara. We can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Oh god, I don't trust it. Just put it, just put it down, put it down and run. Put it down and run. Let's go. Oh, you'll revel later. Ah, oh, shit. Eh. Right. Mm hmm. Oh god. Bruh, no way. Safety. That was insane. <laughs> Intense. Brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Uh people don't give creatures enough credit. She tried to kill us. It's such a such a misconception. Right? They don't give creatures enough credit. God damn it. Right? We gave the egg back. She recognized the situation. She was like, oh, my egg. There it is. Safe. Okay. And she looked at her and was just like, hmm. Okay. And then left. That was nice. Whew. <laughs> Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. Especially dragons. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. What are you talking about? I fucking love dragons. Not at all, but I'm ready to head back. I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> Oof. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. Right? I wonder how long she lived here, or where she'll go now. Revelio. It's so interesting. She's been hanging out in here. A very secluded area. It's actually nice. I get it. I understand. Gosh, she had this whole fort to herself. 
That's so cool. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Well, I guess that's the... You, you, you taking it into? <laughs> I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? Nah, I'm ready. I'm good. No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Horntail Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. Yeah. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What? Oh god, what what do you what have you what have you thought of? How could I have been so blind? What? What are you talking about? That's concerning. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Oh god, we're... Damn, she really... Not that surprising she's gonna actually sneak out again. Of course, it makes sense. She wasn't gonna let her mother tell her what to do. Why would she? <laughs> god damn it. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna pick this up in the next episode, because this has been... This has been a lot. We've been doing a lot. There is a book up there. That's where one of them is. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, we got the new cloak. We did we did a couple of our friendship quests, which was great. And that only means that for Poppy, there's, there's, there's still more to come. And it actually seems even more concerning than just the dragon fighting ring. And then Natty. Natty is persistent in this. And I understand. I get it, right? This whole thing with the... The Dark Wizards and all that, all the things that's been happening with that is definitely a big deal. And we're finding out good information, right? Uh, it's just kind of probably getting a little bit more intense, right? Especially with the poachers being a lot more active. And then Sebastian, we're going to go talk to him. We're going to do these two on the next episode. And then uh, probably bounce over to the mountain, depending on the results of this situation. Because these are probably going to be a whole thing, right? And then from there, well, from there, we're going to see what's going on. <laughs> so thank you everybody so much for watching. Seriously, thank you so much. Oh, my God. This has been, this has been, it's been a hell of a time. I mean, we've been making a lot of progress lately and it, it feels, it feels good. It's been real good. It's been good. So I, I really appreciate the support. Hope it's been, hope it's been fun. It's been interesting, right? We just, we just met a dragon again, same dragon, but we, we got a little bit more up close and personal dodging. It's fire breath, which almost one shot us completely. <laughs> it's as to be expected. Honestly, it's a dragon, right? So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I know I say it a lot, but I mean it every time. <laughs> and stick around for the next one. Out soon. Bye bye.